It is Monday the 8th of May and I am just on my way to Tesco because I am off to get all of the bits for my boyfriend's birthday cake. His birthday is on the 12th so that's Friday and he wants a cake that's chocolate, a cake that's big and a cake that's themed on Moana. So <laughs> I'm off to get the stuff from Tesco for his birthday cake. Um, I'm probably going to make it Wednesday or Thursday because uh, the cake will last as long as I've uh, sealed it in a container um, and the buttercream recipe that I have. I want to try American style buttercream and the buttercream recipe that I've I've got in my in my cookbook which is here. Ta-da! So that recipe uh, it says it will last for up to three weeks if it's covered and in a in a fridge so I'm gonna make it in advance because I've got a very very busy week this week, lots of rehearsals for the upcoming show that I'm musically directing on Saturday so lots of various things to be doing this week and too much to do and not enough time to do it. So I am back from Tesco, I have bought all of the things I need to for Ryan's birthday cake and a couple of little extra bits for his gifts as well, he's turning 21, he's 21 on Friday so I've gone all out and I've bought 21 <laughs> gifts um, for his birthday but the cake is one of his gifts um, and he knows that. We're also going on a trip to a mystery location um, on the 1st of June so chances are I'll probably take the camera with me um, and see if I can film a couple of bits for you guys. Uh, he doesn't know where we're going so I'm not going to announce it. <laughs> uh, I'll obviously have to let you guys know when he finds out. Uh, we thought we'd wait until he'd finished his year of uni before we went on a trip and he'll be finished that week. So we're going away uh, Thursday the 1st of June. So that's his other present that isn't really a present. So he's got 19 presents, his trip away and his cake. I'm going to show you all the things I bought for his cake and you also get a little kind of view of my cute kitchen as well. Look at that. Okay, right, here we go. So this is my trusty mixer that we are going to be using to make the cake and the buttercream. And then we have all of this stuff. All the stuff. And then the recipe. Lots of stuff. Um, chances are I will think about making the buttercream today because if I make the buttercream today I will know whether it works or not and if for some reason it doesn't work out and it goes a little bit pear-shaped then I have time to redo it um, and kind of change my plan a little bit. So I might try the buttercream today, uh, but I will make the cake on Thursday during the day. Uh, but Thursday evening is super busy, so I, I have no choice but to make it during the daytime. So that's the plan. You're all updated, and I will take you with me while I'm making the buttercream so you can see how badly it turns out. <laughs> So here we have the green buttercream. So because I'm doing the Moana cake, the green buttercream is basically for the grass. I've got myself a grass nozzle, um, so for one for a piping bag basically. And uh, it's a lovely view of our outhouse, which is basically a bit like a shed <laughs> in the garden. Um, so the piping bag will be filled with the green buttercream. And then I will put the grass nozzle, which is basically a flat nozzle with 
um, like lots of holes in it to make it look like a grass effect. Now it's time for round two, which is the blue buttercream for the sea. Okay, so the buttercream of blue and green are both done, which is one job to take off of my list. I'm now sat in my onesie with my lunch and I can relax, which is good. Uh, my next job on my list in the next hour or so is to start wrapping his presents. I need to clean the kitchen from all of the icing sugar that's sprayed everywhere and then I have lots of things to do this evening, including running a choir and lots of other things. So yeah, I will update you on a different day uh, as to my next step in the birthday planning. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my lunch and my onesie time. <laughs> and I will see you all in a bit. So now what I've decided to do is, still in my onesie, <laughs> to get a little bit creative and crafty. So if I just flip you around a second. Got some inks, a uh, heater thing, <laughs> and lots of kind of crafty, stampy stuff. And I'm going to hopefully make a little bit of a creative task using these cards and stuff like that. All to do with his birthday. Um, I thought it might be cute just to do something handmade rather than buying everything. Uh, but we've got lots of kind of birthday stamps here and lots of different inks. My mum used to be really into making cards. She's kind of stopped doing that now in the last few years, but I've got lots of cute little stamps left over and some embossing powder, which is what the heat gun is for. So yeah, I think I might try and do something a little bit creative because it's a little bit more personal. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can get creative, uh, which might be a bit hard for me to do, but we'll see. So, quick update, I have finished my various crafty things, um, ended up doing these cute little like vouchery things, so a voucher for me to cook him a meal one day because he does all the cooking, or um, a, a day where he can choose like everything that happens so he can plan the day sort of thing and I just have to kind of go along with it. Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday the 9th of May and I am about to make my boyfriend's birthday cake. Uh, I said I might have done it on Wednesday or Thursday but I've actually found uh, ways to keep the cake fresh um, and it saves me a job when I'm going to be preparing for various rehearsals uh, tomorrow and Thursday so I'm going to do it now uh, and hopefully it will turn out okay, so I will keep you with me uh, and I'll show you various things that I'm doing with the cake in the hope that it goes well.
finished two layers of the cake. Uh, I have one layer left because it's going to be a three layer cake. But because we only have two cake tins, I have to do it in stages. Uh, but right now it is quarter to one and I'm about to go and let out our neighbour's dog because they are away so we are um, taking care of the neighbour's dog during the daytime and he's the cutest little dog I've ever seen so I'm going to take you guys with me and you can, uh, you can meet him Can't say hi. You can't say hi with a tennis ball in your mouth. <laughs> the Adventures of Emily and Herbie. Volume 1. Hi. He won't drop the tennis ball, will you? Not even for me. Ready for cake? Yeah. Are you actually ready? You're probably ready. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Can I eat it? But right now, you're not even gonna you're not even gonna appreciate his beauty first. Okay. I spent three days on that. For everyone that wants to see this, hang on. This Are the characters edible? Yes. I don't know if I want to eat them. <laughs> Can you spin it round? Okay. Mm. Mm. There you go. Are you having a good birthday? Oh, very good birthday. Have you enjoyed your morning? Yeah. <laughs> Was it all worth it in the end? Yeah. Show everyone your tie. He's very pleased with his tie. <laughs> and now we're trying on shoes in Russell and Bromley. Ryan's birthday was a success. I'm really happy. Um, the cake worked out really well. He loved it. Um, everyone that saw it thought it was really cool as well. So, so yeah, I'm really pleased. It all worked out well. I'm home now because I've got to go and do some other things tonight, unfortunately. Um, so I can't spend his birthday evening with him. But I spent last night with him. 
Um, so we got the last kind of 24 hours together. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased. Uh, so thank you very much for watching it. If you do want to see the full cake, go onto Instagram because I have posted it on my Instagram page. Uh, and be sure to follow my Facebook page and subscribe down below. I will see you again for another vlog in a week's time. Bye!